Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. I hope you're doing well tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. The songs that came through for tonight's reading were Beyonce with Kendrick Lamar, America Got a Problem, and Cat Hasty, Highway with No Name, I think is the name of it. And both songs are about addiction about a major problem with addiction why that came out i don't know we're going to try to find out all right spirit show me how you want to begin we're going to start with the virtues and then get the prayer what virtues are you working on in this collective spirit in that song by cat hasty she says on a highway with no name getting high on mary jane We've got wisdom, love, loyalty, perseverance, stewardship, and integrity with honesty in reverse. <laughs> All right, so you've, you've learned a lesson about love. And she's talking about how she fell in love with somebody and he left her or something. And now she's trying to fill that void with drugs, essentially. So you've learned a lesson about love and loyalty and not giving up. How to deal with your money and the possessions you own and having integrity. That's what's being said here, right here, so far. There's a lack of honesty also somehow involved. All right, prayer for the collective spirit. If you don't have a problem, you may know someone who has a problem. Dear God, thank you for your gift of life, of faith, and of my calling. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you and others. Dear Father, thank you for making me your beloved child now and forever. Amen. You may also work in a profession or in a ministry of some sort who helps people who have addiction to overcome those struggles. Okay, what's true about you? Spirit said, what's true about you? Tell us what's true about the collective spirit. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. So right now you have a lot of worries and cares. And Spirit is saying, give them to me, for I care about you. Give me your cares and worries because I care about you. Alright, what do we want to do next? Instant Magic Oracle. May we have a message, please. Instant Magic Oracle. What message would you give to the collective? Pour love into yourself and in turn the universe will pour love into you. So there's a need to pour love into yourself. Alright, let's see what kind of healing is needed here. Healing spirit. Show me how this happened. What kind of healing was needed? Sexual arts and dreams. So sexual arts is about a special kind of relationship between two people. And it's a very comfortable, it's like where you can be real open sexually. It's not hit it and go. It's like, it's a beautiful sexual experience. It's like no other sexual experience. It is the masculine and feminine. In order for a person to even be turned on, one of you has to be in your masculine energy and one of you has to be in your feminine energy in order to even have a sexual attraction. And it's when you can give yourself completely to this person and you can tell them what you like and what you don't like. You can be open with them and you don't hold anything back. And it's hard to achieve that if you've ever had any sexual abuse or if you've ever just been in abusive relationships or <clears throat> if you've just been in a relationship where somebody just used you like a piece of meat just so they could get their needs met and they weren't really trying to be there for you. Um, 
but somehow this happened because you wanted or or maybe had sexual arts, this very special sexual uh, relationship with somebody, and your your dreams are here. You may have had dreams, or you may have had dreams. I don't know which. All right, what's being hidden that needs healing? You feel entrapped, and you're needing to let go. You feel like what works for others doesn't work for you, and you need to learn how to let go. All right, what's being shown for what the healing that you need? You're wearing a mask. You need to take off your mask. And what's going to happen next for healing when it comes to this person or these people? You're going to discover your life purpose. And you're going to let out your creativity. You're holding back with your creativity. You have a wild side that's very creative. All right, what spiritual gifts are operating here? <clears throat> the chakra card fell out again. You might need your chakra to learn. What spiritual gifts are operating for how this happened? We got a lot. There's something going on with your house. And your spirit guides are involved, okay? Timing is a factor. You might you have you might have a certain amount of time before you have to get out of your house. You might have to like redo your um your lease. Somehow timing in your home and your spirit guides. The clouds are here. Communication is here and having a doorway open to you. That's how this happened. Alright, what's being hidden? Infinity. That you have infinite abundance at your disposal. And what's being shown? That you have your loved ones in spirit are helping you and you have the mirror. So you can see what you need to do differently. You may have a twin flame. And what's going to happen next? The lovers is here. Meditation and promises or rainbows. You may see a rainbow. The lovers and meditation. And then you have an angel. You have an angel. Okay. Now, let's see, Spirit. What do we want to do next? Let's see what the energy oracle would say is the main thing we need to learn from this experience that's going on here. You got something going on with your home. Timing is a factor. Communication, having your door open. There's a thinking woman and they have attachments, unhealthy attachments. Somehow you're a thinking woman who has unhealthy attachments. Your solar plexus is here with a thinking woman. You could have a solar plexus blockage. You may, you may be having a difficult time knowing that you can do this. <clears throat> My throat chakra tried to close. Healer of the ages and the thinking woman. So you're thinking about getting healing in your life, it looks like. All right, Spirit, what are you trying to teach us here? What are you trying to teach us? You have a contract, a broken heart in reverse, and Archangel Michael is here with helping you get your stability, and then we have the thinking man. So, there's a man that's being put in your life to teach you a lesson. Somehow you have a contract. This could be something legal or it's just something binding like this lease that you need to sign. There's something that's legal going on here. Your heart's been broken and your stability has been affected. I'm not sure what's happened to your heart, but we're going to find out. You could also be sick. That could also be a problem here. All right, Spirit, how do I find out how this happened and so forth? <clears throat> what needs to be surrendered here? For how this happened, what needs to be surrendered? Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. 
Surrender to divine timing and surrender your procrastination. So you have to get outside at the right time and stop procrastinating. All right, what's being hidden that needs to be surrendered? You're stubborn. All right, what's being shown that needs to be surrendered? Your resentments and to effortlessness. Things have to be effortless. And I know when I hear that, it's like, really, God? Effortless? Nothing's effortless. But life can be effortless. All right, and what's going to happen next that needs to be surrendered? You're going to surrender to wonder and awe. Spirit's going to amaze you. And there are addictions that need to be surrendered. I can't make it up. Overall, you have some addictions that need to be let go of. <clears throat> All right, let's see how this happens, shall we? How does this happen? Show me how this happens, Chris. How does this happen? Go all in or get the fuck out. And what was being hidden? So you had to go all in or get out. For some reason. Somebody told you, you need to go all in here or get out. You you wanted to sit back and relax. Oral love was in your future and be alone. Secretly, you wanted to sit back and relax and be alone. And this person was like, you go all in or get out. And you're like, no, I'm going to sit back and relax and be left alone. All right. And what was being shown? That it was time to talk money and you're not being heard. So, somebody wanted to talk to you about money, but you weren't trying to hear it. And what's going to happen next? Or they weren't trying to hear it. That you think you have them all figured out, but you don't. Tantrums are for babies. Grow the fuck up. And... I think that might be it. <laughs> Alright, so you're, next you're going to think you have somebody all figured out, but you don't. And somebody's throwing tantrums. And love can hurt like hell. Remember, your heart's broken. And you're going to have to agree to fucking disagree here. Alright. Show me a little bit more about how this might have happened. How did this happen, Spirit? Somebody was a thief. Or you thought they were. The thief came out in reverse. Alright. What was being hidden? A main male. So somebody was hiding a main male. And what was being shown? That somebody had a gift. They sent a message. It was a message of concern. About some unexpected income. And an uno unofficial person. So this person was unofficial. You secretly have a main male that you're hiding. Somebody's hiding a man. And so this happened because somebody used to be a thief. They're, somebody is showing that they have a gift. That they're going to have a message. And it's a message of concern about some unexpected income and an unofficial person. And what's going to happen next? You're going to be married to a, a man who has no money. And there's a mature woman. The lovers are here again. And there's a coffin here in reverse. I had to dig for it. <clears throat> and the pathway is here. So, somebody's married, but there's a, an older woman and a wealthy man. That may have chosen... what they want to do when they die. <clears throat> they may have decided what they want to do when they die. 
why are you hiding this man? Or there could be an older man and a well, there an older woman and a wealthy man. This older woman is older than this wealthy man. Somebody's married. You're married to an older woman, but you're not. Your wealthiness is in reverse. Why is this main male being hidden? Somebody's hiding somebody from you because of somebody having bad health. So, that's why the coffin's here, because somebody's dying. You're married to somebody that's dying. Secretly, they have bad health, and they're your main male. And this is going to bring you sudden wealth. Why is the thief in reverse? Because of poverty in reverse and the courthouse in reverse so this person may have gotten in trouble for stealing because they didn't have any money that's why the contracts here this this broke your heart and it affected your stability this is a very complicated reading A very complicated reading. All right, show me the secrets of the heart when it comes to the thief and the poverty. Deja vu and beauty. Show me the secrets of the person's heart who was a thief for how this happened. Beauty and unconditional love. Alright, show me the secrets of the heart of the thief. They are exhausted with the tension. They're tired of the tension. Alright, show me the secrets of the hidden man that's got bad health. What's the secrets of their heart? They're just hiding that they have shared feelings with you. The mirror, remember? They're hiding the fact that they have shared feelings with you. Alright. Show me the secrets of the heart of the person who's married. They've reached their limit. Their heart is full of fog and they, ha they no longer have chemistry with you. Show me the person they're married to is hard. That's, that's the one who has time as a factor. and they're gonna, You're going to be alone in time because I think this person may be dying. And there's somebody spying from a fake account. Alright, well, let's find out what this message of concern might be about over here. What is the message of concern about? The message we see over here. I want you so badly, but I'm not financially stable. Alright. What's the other message? I wish we could go back and I do love you. Alright. What would the other person say? I don't want to know. You don't want to know what? I'm in a committed relationship. I want to make amends, and you didn't see my tears. So, they don't want to know that you're in a committed relationship and that you want to make amends because you cried. They don't, they don't care about that. And you're over here saying, I want you so badly. I'm not financially stable. I want to go back because I love you. And they don't want to hear that. This person doesn't want to hear that. And they watch your social media. <clears throat> What would this person who's exhausted of the tension say? They'd say, I trusted you, I miss you, but I can't do this. And you broke my heart. So that's the one that got their heart broken. What would the married person say? I have too much to lose, but I don't want to let you go. 
And what would the person who's going to be alone in time say? They would say, I don't know what comes next, and I miss being with you. And I am not over you. So there's a lot of people here, and you're all mushed together. I don't know who's who. I don't even know how to deal with this kind of reading. Let's see if we can find out why you broke up. Why is there a big mush of people here? Why did this why did this breakup happen? May I see please? Because of divine timing, gossip and not wanting to have a commitment or not having a commitment and being divinely guided. Alright, tell me the gossip. So what's the gossip? Somebody is standing their ground and ready for battle. And they're going to run away. But they don't know the tea. What's the tea that they don't know? That somebody's in their feelings. And why are they in their feelings? Because somebody's a player and they're into games and sports. And you've got to check yourself. Why have you got to check yourself? Because somebody is tr total drama in action, they're toxic, <clears throat> a hater, and you're brainstorming and figuring shit out. And what are you figuring out that this person is promiscuous? Uh, and what are they hiding? That they want to set the record straight, that they're going to kick somebody to the curb because of a movie date. And what's being shown? That they're busy... They want a divorce because they were betrayed. Somebody is centered with the universe and burning the evidence. And what's going to happen next? Somebody's going to be a bugaboo. They're attracting like a moth to a flame. This was a love story once upon a time and the police are going to be involved. Why are the police going to be involved? Because of caution, you're going to have arguments and put people in their place because they're trash. And you might like to work out and go to the gym. Jeez Louise, people. I don't even know what to say here. You got a lot of drama going on, that's for sure. Oh, wow. Is there anything good going to come of any of this from any of these relationships? There's a third party here. Your higher self is going to be activated. And somebody it may be partying, but your higher self is going to be activated. Somehow there's a party here, and your higher self will be activated so that you will not have the courage to take action. Jupiter is here. You're, you're being encouraged not to take action. Why do they not want you to take action? Because they want you to be open to receive. Because you're not taking care of yourself and you need to apologize. And what's being shown? That you need to come out of some darkness you've been living in. And what's going to happen next? You're going to spy on somebody. You're not going to get over this. It's something that happened last summer. <clears throat> you have a contract, career, and commitment. And somebody is not nurturing and compassionate. Why are they spying? Because of karma, balance, and justice. And no union. Why do they not want them to have a union? Because the truth is, there's a lot of chemistry and this is almost over. Why is it almost over? Because somebody has self-worth and it's a twin plane right there. Now I understand. So somebody is using their intuition. The truth is about to come out about chemistry and that it's almost over. Something happened here that caused somebody... Um, uh, Something's going to happen there. Can you show me a little bit more about what happened here? When it comes to the gossip. What happened here? 
somebody had a wish that somebody was a player and so the answer was no. Alright, what else? The fall is here. Last fall and last summer. What about last fall and last summer? Somebody was stigmatized. They were a secret admirer. And they were in a long-term commitment. Alright. Why do we need to know that? Because somebody was a cheater. And why were they cheating? Because the answer was yes. Even though they weren't a perfect pair. So, what's going to be the outcome with the twin flame? Somebody is going to be a fake. They're going to have a one night stand with a psycho. They're going to they're going to pretend like they didn't have a one night stand with a psycho. What's the truth? That they're a liar, a victim. There's a mystery undisclosed and they're bound to this and if some, somebody's about to get ghosted. And it has to do with a workaholic. Wow. What would the twin flame say? You let me down. What would the other twin flame say? I would do it all again. And I miss hearing your voice. Why did you let them down? Why were you let down? Because... I don't know what you want. Your intellect arouses me. I have trouble with intimacy. Will you ever make things right? And I feel so happy with you. And I wonder how you feel. So the twin flame, one of you would do it all again and misses the other one. And the other one is happy with you, but they don't know if you'll make things right. They have trouble with intimacy. They think you're real smart. They don't really know what you want. But you let them down. What do you really want? You really want them to know that you still have feelings for them. And you want to start over. So the twin flame wants to be with you. Alright, show me how this divine masculine feels about the divine feminine. Ooh, they feel frozen. And like it's not only you. How does the Divine Masculine feel about her? Like there's no intimacy. Like she's not established. She's not roaming wild. She's not clinging. And there's no intimacy. It's like everything came out in reverse. So let's turn it around. She, she's established. Or maybe she was. But now she's roaming wild. She's roaming wild and clinging at the same time, and there's a lack of intimacy, and you feel frozen because you know she's roaming wild. She's having sex with other people, it looks like. So what's connecting the two of you? Loyalty and vows, and a lot of confusion. I see that. What's going to be the outcome here? You're going to be better off if, you, if you're if you drifting. You're going to be drifting and better off Divine Masculines in reverse. Why are you better off if you're drifting? Because somebody's conflicted and they need to see through the illusions. What are the illusions? That there's something they're not telling you. <clears throat> there's a confession that they haven't made. And we need to know what that is. What's the confession they're not telling them? Why don't you ever respond to my text again? Why don't you ever respond to my text in a reasonable time? Tell me again why you're single and I like it when you text me good morning. There's something they're not telling you. There, there's a reason why they're not responding to you. They're with somebody else. And if you only knew how much I care about you in reverse. 
What else would they say to you? They would say, I smile when I'm reading. You smile when you're reading what? It's late, really late. Why aren't you here with me? And I often wonder how you feel about me. I think I miss you. So they think it's funny that you miss them and that they're not there with you. How does the other person that they are with feel? I'm reading our text wanting to press you, but to press you, wanting to text you, but don't want to look pressed. Why do you feel that way? Because I don't like to text, but I will text you all day long. You drive me crazy and my feelings are on E. So the person that they're with is like, I don't even want to be with you really anymore. I think I could marry you one day. You got too many people here, baby. Wow. You got too, too many people here. And you done broke everybody's damn heart. All right. Show me the shadow side of Divine Masculine Spirit. Show me his shadow side, please. He's fixated and silenced. Show me Divine Feminine. But he won't talk to anybody. He's keeping his mouth shut. She's projecting and self-indulgent. And show me the, um, the current partner. The current partner is irresponsible, vengeful, uncomfortable and tricky or elusive and also spying invading all uh, right y'all got problems here you got real problems here real problems here did i pull to no let's just pull some show me how this happened spirit Somebody got pissed off. Why were they pissed off? Because they got hurt. Because of some manipulation and an argument. Alright, what's being hidden? That somebody's unhappy and they need for things to be different. Alright, and what's being shown? That somebody's staying up at night and they have a small amount of feelings for somebody. Who do they have these friendship feelings for? It's like they have feelings for a friend. Somebody that got hurt. Alright, what does this person need to change? There's a queen of cups that got left out in the cold. This could be a cancer. They got left out. That's what needs to change. Secretly, this cancer is like, I'm unhappy and this needs to change. This could also be a Scorpio who got left out. It's a Scorpio. And over here... This person is like, this has been a nightmare for my friend. They got left out, and they're a Scorpio. All right, so what's going to happen next? The Empress is here with a new opportunity. Why is it in reverse? Because of Cancer, the Moon, and not learning their lesson. What lesson did they not learn? It had to do with something very small, like a text message and somebody not having anything. They weren't even moving. They were like, they stopped moving forward here. They were talking to you, but they weren't moving forward. Why weren't they moving forward? Because they were conflicted. What were they conflicted about? The darkness. Why was they, why was their darkness? Because somebody couldn't be trusted. They were an asshole. And this was almost over. What was? Why were they being an asshole and couldn't be trusted? Because they wanted to have it all. And they were divinely guided to walk away from what no longer served them. And what were they walking towards? <clears throat> no longer being a player or being with a player. The King of Cups, her identical match is here. We have a Sagittarius and we have um, probably a Cancer. Yeah, this is a Cancer. That's a Scorpio. A Sagittarius. It's like, I'm not looking for any more opportunities to play games with people. If I don't love them, I'm not going to be with them. And 
I'm just going to be cold hearted as hell because I feel like this is causing me to be very weak. That's who they're walking away from and they're frozen. So what, who are they walking towards? Damn. A karmic partner. They're walking away from a karmic partner who was very controlling and would not show them love. Or they're walking towards that. Why would they walk towards that? Because this person is spying from a fake account and they're shallow. What, what does that mean? I mean, why do we care about that? Because that's what's over. All right, so they're ending it with this karmic partner. And what are they going to do with this Scorpio over here? They're going to have a relationship with them. And how does the Scorpio feel about that? This is what would be their wish fulfillment. And this would be a very fair and generous relationship. All right. That's what's up. <laughs> they're going after the, this. They're they're leaving a cancer. It looks like, or they are cancer, and they may be leaving a Sagittarius, somebody younger. There's a Sagittarius involved here, and there's also two water signs. It looks like a Scorpio and a Cancer. Or it could just be two people that are no longer in love. For real, for real. There could be three people that are no longer in love. Alright, show me where the Divine Masculine is here. Confession fell out of the wrong deck. So we need another confession. What's the confession? I'm falling in love with you. And I just want honesty. Why do you insist on lying to me? So somebody wants to tell you they're falling in love with you. And we see here they want to have a relationship. Where's Divine Masculine here? Divine Masculine is going through this metamorphosis. This, um, this is the one who's like, something has to change. I'm tired of being afraid. What are you afraid of, baby? Somebody that's watching you. Why are you afraid of them watching you? Because of shadow work and returning to a twin flame. Because the person who's watching you knows that you're working on getting out of this dark place you've been in so you can return to your twin flame. Alright, where's your where's your divine feminine at? The karmic partner and soulmate came out. There's a karmic partner in reverse and a soulmate. That's where the divine feminine is. What's going to be the outcome of that? They're a victim. And they've been, they're coming out of a stuck place where they've been in a commitment with a karmic partner and a soulmate. That's where the Divine Feminine is. The Divine Feminine is not a karmic partner. But there's a soulmate and karmic partner who's, who's been in a relationship. They got stuck with this person and they were, they're a victim. Alright, what's connecting the masculine and feminine here? That you were unawakened when you abandoned each other. <clears throat> And now you're surrendering. Outcome of your surrendering. You're going to go in a new direction. And you're going to be released, Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is going to be released. What's going to be the outcome of returning to the Twin Plane? You're going to have the, the tribe. Your tribe is here. Being admired is here. And Divine Timing is here. <coughs> So somehow the Divine Feminine was a victim 
of somebody being in a commitment and being stuck with a soulmate that was a karmic partner. You're going to be together. This divine masculine is going to return. What's the hold up? Somebody's, somebody's got to separate. And what's it going to take for that to happen? Somebody having union. And clarify the union. Somebody's going to stop numbing, reinvent themselves, and get, get in this. Why hasn't it ended already? Because the answer was no to refocusing this summer. What are they doing this fall? They're going through a dark night of the soul. And what's going to be the outcome of that dark night? That's why they haven't taken action. But they are devoted. What are they devoted to? They're thinking about how they didn't understand. What did they not understand? That they didn't have forgiveness. That they didn't have enough money. Because they needed to stop being bound and get more creative and use their free will. Can you tell us who this is? Somebody that's going through grief. Why are they going through grief? Because of some communication that they got. And some signs they've been seeing of somebody making an offer. Wow. This is a deep reading. I hope you're keeping up. <laughs> Alright, is there anything you can tell us out of this deck right here? Put away the computer. Have integrity. There's a past life love that's protected. Alright, anything else that we need to know? Something strictly sexual. What about it? Be patient. <clears throat> Take care of yourself. You need stability and abundance. Alright, and what's going to what's gonna be the outcome of that? They're going to be rejected. And this is going to bring balance back to your life. So whoever has a strictly sexual relationship, be patient and take care of yourself. Get stable, get abundance, because you're going to be rejected, or they are. You're going to have balance, you're going to go slow, and you're going to make a decision to master a spiritual lesson, to not have interference right now, to have a spiritual lesson when it comes to a twin plane that wasn't released and having forgiveness when it comes to finances. All right, now let's look at your finances. Talk to me about the finances for this Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine science came out for you and using your voice. There's something going on with science and your voice. And this is why you can't take off. Alright, what's going on with Divine Feminine's money? She She's not going to have luck. She's at a crossroads and there's gossip. What's the gossip? That there's been an injustice when it comes to a designer. Somebody who won't do crafts and somebody who will not party or celebrate. And there's something legal here. What's going to be the outcome for Divine Feminine? Her real estate is here with being left a legacy. She's a phoenix rising, but she's no artist. <laughs> Why is she not an artist? Because she doesn't know how to do cell work. And somebody's growing up. What's going to be the outcome of the spell work? <clears throat> you're not going to have a business and sell something because you're not going to have angelic help with it. You need a strategy. Alright, what strategy does she need? You need to have a strategy to go to the next level. And what would, what would help her to do that? You need to have growth and come up with a strategy. What's the strategy, Spirit? The strategy is that you're going to have happiness in a windfall. And what's connecting this divine masculine and feminine? 
that they're planning something. There's a mechanic involved, a counselor, and animals. And they're not going to make any mistakes this time either. Hi. Oh, my stomach's hurting for some reason. My back, my stomach, I feel like I'm falling apart here. Alright, may I have a message please? One card. One card please. Damn, cards keep going everywhere. May I have one card please that would go perfectly with this reading? Miss Mary's birthday is tomorrow and she's going to be 104, y'all. One card, please. Alright, I got two. I got Peacock Priestess and Peonia. And Starborn. Give me just a moment and I'm going to tell you what these mean. Peacock Priestess, number 24. If you feel impatient for something to happen or worry that you are not accomplishing all that you want to achieve quickly enough, take heart. The universe is working with you, not against you, to bring your dream to life. Even times when not much seems to be happening are a part of this creative process, balancing out other times when energy becomes active and intense. What will be most helpful for you in your dreams right now is to rest. During this pleasurable rest behind the scenes, some spiritual magic is going to be created. Created. Number 27, Peonia. Somebody here is being given prosperity. You are now being blessed with prosperity, abundance, and creativity. To enhance this time of joy and amplify your experience of grace, practice gratitude. Simply be happy for what you have and what is being given to you. The universe loves to keep on giving to those who are grateful and happy to receive and who give back to life from the heart with gratitude and a positive attitude. This is such a healing time for you. The healer within is awakening and your ability to give and receive healing energy is becoming more powerful. Your soul connection to animals, plants, and crystals will support your healing and increase your energy to attract and create positive life situations for yourself and for others. Number 21, Starborn. You have a strong spiritual connection with the universe. Trust your intuition and your inner feelings about things, especially when your inner feelings are at odds with what is appearing outside of you. Sometimes it is when the least thing is happening that the most important thing is actually taking place. You just cannot see it yet. You have a special and deeply spiritual life purpose to fulfill. You cannot get there with logic and planning. Your spirit knows how to guide you and the universe knows how to support you. Following your heart along your spiritual path is going to lead to your best, brightest, and most beautiful life success. Alright, how are the angels helping you with this situation? prosperity can't make it up and and giving you joy and i'm going to leave it there because that's all you need discover your life purpose have prosperity spirit wants to bless you i don't have to knock on this best friend what would you say here trust yourself and give out kindness what would the other person's best friend say Add me time to your to-do list and have pride in yourself. Have pride. All right, I guess we're going to leave it there. Who are we talking to, Spirit? F-M-O-L-N-E-M -E number seven. C M. H N R I number five. 
NG number one, C, B, C, D, C, T, M number 12. F, U, M, M, U, C, R, 5. One more time. E, S, C, D, P, H, number 1, B. Alright, trinkets for this outrageous reading spirit. Alright, I have a compass. I have a skull. A piece of selenite. A piece of crystal. I have health, happiness, and treasure. I have... It's a cat. Somebody's got a kid cat. I have a sister or someone to dream, cry, sing, and laugh with. A little jail birdie with a guitar. A squid. That was a nail. Two hearts connected. I will. A bonefish. The word love. Jesus. A tulip. Perhaps love. The letter V. Two swans connected. A snowflake. A heart with wings and a keyhole, a teeny tiny little key, a tree of life, a starfish, a bird, and two hearts connected. Somebody's got a birdie. Alright. If anybody's looking for a bird, my daughter's trying to rehome hers and she will sell the whole thing for 3000 She's got a whole bunch of stuff to go with it. It's a parrot. I have a key. I had a feather that fell out of my hand. Always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. I love you, Infinity. A Star of David. An I Ching. A piece of crystal. An Eiffel Tower. An anchor, a cash sign, a squid, I love you to the moon and back, an infinity sign, and every fair from fair sometimes declines, a cactus or a prick. Live your dream, an eye chain, and a nail. We had a screw and a nail. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Alright, I hope you resonated and that you'll let me know by liking. Make sure you're subscribed and share, share the video with a friend or something. Show some love. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you've been doing. I miss you guys. And I love you so much. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.